Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Cas Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lava. But right now, uh, we need to talk about the banner for our new rum. And while there's support for all sides here, we're still doing some populism for the people with some La Sunra Ra. Overall, even though we have six choices, there's more support for currently for the large golden falcon of Ra with rays of sunlight, and a red sun shall be our flag. As we're, of course, finishing up our. Like I said, populism for our people. And also, at the end of the last episode, we did read about this one, the Pinnacle of Creation. So if we read read that one, please go right ahead. And it sounds like a lot of fun stuff right there. But let's read about uh, the state bunny for the orchestra. The orchestra, also known as the Astral Infinity Orchestra, or the Intergalactic Research Orchestra. Among many other prefix styles, a Sun Ra's beloved avant-garde jazz and funk band made famous by its band leader and main pianist, our national father. Known for having many famous musicians and composers come and go from its ranks over the years. The band has ranged at times from being just Sun Ra performing alone to having well over 30 active members all, all at once. <laughs> uh, uh, and over the course of its short history so far, it's echoed every era of jazz, music, and similar genres while pioneering new ones at the same time. This band is not, not only the prime form of expression for our national father, but also the single most popular artistic or entertainment group in the nation while standing as one of the main pillars of a new culture and identity. It says move to fully fund the orchestra, and everything is ever will need to further carry our people to their destiny atop this wave of sonic funk. Some of the comments from the last video include, this is literally black esotericism. Someone else says, I find it cute that whoever wrote the, these uh, t lore tidbits keeps referring to the black sa ra as not as being nonviolent, as if you could have a country run by anyone like that and not use violence on the parts of the population that don't fit your criteria, like... What happens when people you consider to be <clears throat> lesser than you maybe revolt? Oh, that'd be funny. And also, someone else says a revolt of certain whites would be funny. Someone else says, "Good on you for not nation ruining the constitutional republic." In the past, that's been the only way that this person could play and win as the actual black republic. Someone else says, "I'm still done with this mod, man. There's too much of everything in here." And some also says, "Finally, a very, very underrated path." The orchestra's newest album. The Orchestra of Sun Ra's released its newest album today, titled We Are In The Future, to critical claim of, and of course, praise. Featuring jazz, blues, funk, and influenced by both American and African sounds, as well as Sun Ra's own cosmic interests, the album has been allowed as one of the greatest musician compositions of the modern era. At over two hours long, this avant-garde journey through jazz is a non-stop sonic delight, but Sun Ra was far from the only musician tied to grace this record. But with his immense influence and popularity, he was able to pull on musicians from across the black belt beyond aid him on this cosmic and sonic experiment. Featuring guest appearances from jazz, blues, and soul legends such as Louis Armstrong, Billie Holiday, Nat King Cole, Alberta Hunter, Cab Calloway, Ethel Waters, Joe Williams, Slim Galliard, Billy Eckstein, Fats Waller, Ivy Anderson, Mildred Bailey, Pearl May Bailey, Ida Cox, Duke Ellington, Adelaide Hall, Carmen McRae, and Sarah Louise Vaughn. The best of the best of what our people have to offer musically collaborated together to make something magical. With copies flying off the shelves both domestically and internationally, the Sun Rawls began to organize a tour for the album while much of the profit from the album is being put into both the space program and our cultural initiatives to benefit our Pan-African people. With yet another chart-topping success, Sun Rock continues to dowse both the political and musical worlds simultaneously without issue, and the world awaits what he'll release next. These sonic waves bring new joy and groove to all within our realm. Wow. And a racial cosmic philosophy. Now, I can't remember if I read this or not, but it's pretty slow going right now, but anyways. Sun Ra proclaims that the African race hails from Saturn, uh, delivered here to Earth at the dawn of our evolution in order to test us. Sun Ra has been sent here from our cosmic homeland to guide us with his art and his ideas. And this coalesced philosophy has fused with pan-Africanism and black supremacism to form a pure, peaceful, and loving ideology that cares for all, but, who, but cares for our race most of all. A racial hierarchy has been created, with the true sons of African and Saturn on top and with the earthly races below us, still valid, important, and precious, but in dire need of guidance, protection, and the enlightening touch of cosmic civilization. Once we get the event, a racial cosmic philosophy. And then we'll do spreading the truths of our cosmic origins. Though many have begun to believe that Sun Ra may in fact be an alien from Saturn, or perhaps some new god or prophet, far less believe that humanity itself came from the stars, or the stars. It is Sun Ra's chief goal to get the masses to believe the cosmic, this absolute truth. And with his government allies fully shackled to his side and subject to his bidding, he shall use the resources and influence to spread his truth across the nation and beyond. A propaganda campaign fueled by Sun Ra's sonic arc and poetic brilliance will surely win over the masses and prove to them that we are the son of the children of Saturn. Which would be a great thing. And we also did grab School of Fire Support just because we were already in the field anyways down here. Um, we should probably shift these guys over because there's not a lot of fighting going on here. There's quite a bit of fighting going on around this area as well. So we might as well do that. I haven't entered these divisions too much. We have 11 army XP, 22 combat, which is okay. Um, 
Maybe get a little bit of motorized regen, because I would like to convert these guys eventually as well. We don't have that much motorized in stock, but you know what? Give them a little love right now. Eventually, I'll probably convert them to these guys. Motorized, the normal motorized, but we'll see. Because technically, ah, uh, but then it costs extra political power or army XP just because, um, yeah, it just does. So, yeah, uh, quite slow, but of course, we are still doing quite okay. A racial cosmic philosophy combining its own peaceful and inter intergalactic and Afro futurist ideas with the black supremacist. Negro exceptionalist and Afro nationalist ideas of his reactionary allies, Senator All, has finalized his new cosmic philosophy. He has proclaimed that, as a true children of Africa, the black race is destined to ab greatness above all other races, and though it is our duty to show our fellow lesser men how to truly be cosmically civilized, that is not our end goal. The destiny of the African people is among the stars, and the cosmic pharaoh shall take us there. Out there in the cosmos, we shall find enlightenment and a just and promised future, and with Sun Ra as our guide, we will let. Uh, we will get to our paradise on set in one way or another. Though the lesser races of the world cannot come with us, we shall still nurture them, for it is a black man's burden, but it will never become an obstacle to our des destined greatness. Now, onwards, towards the black and supreme Afro future. The destiny of the black race is to reach enlightenment among the stars. As we are over here in the CNT FAI, and what else are we doing next? So we're doing this one, heirs to the pharaohs? Why not? We are the heirs of the pharaohs, but as history has gone on to that term, pharaoh has come to take on an almost evil notion. Seen as tyrants are portrayed as the slave drivers, the pharaohs of ancient Egypt are villainized by the modern world. But, looking past these rough edges and lies, we see the truth. Pharaohs are among the most divine, enlightened, and cosmically attuned, and benevolent rulers in all of human history. The position of influence and popularity is something that the Sun Ra strives to achieve, and going so far as to crown himself as a cosmic pharaoh. For he is their heir, and we are his disciples. We will embrace the old kingdom and the culture and aesthetic it bore as we build a new field of reeds here in the Black Belt. And see what else we can achieve, of course, as well. No supplies? Probably a problem. But now we're running quite a bit faster just because I literally restarted my entire computer. Sometimes it'll help speed up the game. You never know. And my god, is it going so fast compared to what it used to be? Oh, it's so much better. Currently, at least. Uh, the realm of Peru. Which I've never played as Peru in... Well, before, I believe. But that's alright. Um, we do want to do a little bit less expert focus. We are making a slight amount of rubber... We're running out of places to build. We probably need to start taking people out, but I do want to finish this side of the focus tree first to Saturn Beyond. Because we have another research slot to get to Saturn as well. Uh, the only god is Ra. Open arms to the Black dis dis Diaspora, the Black International. With Sun Ra's racialist, Black supremacist, and Afro futurist philosophy only growing more popular, he's seen it to fit call a worldwide Pan African meeting to follow philosophers, politicians, theorists, thinkers, and more to come together to cooperate for the greater good of the Black race. Urging uh, cooperation, peace, and unity between our desperate uh, people, Sun Ra, believes that if all the true children of Africa work together, there's nothing we cannot achieve. In attendance are numerous titans of the Pan-African ideal, such as George Padmore, Kwame Nkrumah, Francois Duvalier, Duvalier, Georges-Louis de Gonzague, Bon Bozo, Onyago Obama, Stanley Mathingue, Jean-Paul Sousset, and many more all rallied around Sun Ra's guest of honor, Marcus Garvey. Although our methods, specifics, backgrounds, and our ideas all differ, we are striving to do what is best for our people, our race, and our legacy, and that is a goal we can all share. With Sun Ra as a calming, peaceful glue that binds this very coalition of minds together, there's nothing humanity cannot achieve. But there's another meeting behind, or being planned for next year. All in attendance, even those who went in with apprehension and doubt are now excited and wholly dedicated to this newfound sense of cooperation. Or at least, that's what Sun Ra has told his people back home. Together we shall uplift our chosen African race, the cosmic tour of the... Third Rock from the Sun. Off the back of the success of the orchestra's, orchestra's album, We Are the Future, or In the Future, Sun Ra and his cosmic band have organized a worldwide music tour focusing on cities in Africa and the Black Diaspora, regions such as the Caribbean and the parts of North and South America while also planning to stop in some more diverse cities. This cosmic tour of the Saturnian Sun shall bring Sun Ra's music to millions across the world. Along the way, he is expected to play in Togo with the famed jazzman and veteran Kwasi Bruce. Um, while in Italy, he's expected to play the experimenters of futurist music, Luigi Russolo and the Francesco Pratella. All along the way, key acts and close friendships as Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, Nat King Cole, and Billy Holiday are set to stand by Sun Ra throughout the entire tour as mainstays of, of the orchestra, adding their immense talents to the already genius Sun Ra. Once again, Sun Ra's promise that most of the profits from the store shall go into the improving that our nation at home, and with over 50 cities booked, we are sure to make a pretty penny or two. With Sun Ra and his orchestra taking off from New Thebes through their first up in Mexico City, the world waits eagerly for the sonic sounds of Sun Ra. The cosmic Afro-future sound shall be heard across the globe. I love getting free PP. Um... You know, why not? Why not? We're worth it, right? We are worth it. We deserve it. More divisions? Sure, why not? Because eventually they're going to come knocking on our doors and we got to be ready for them. Solidify control, we could do that. Or get you for the Air Force. Um, 
Industrial stuff. Yeah, without anything running in the background after starting, it runs so much faster. Southern University. Uh, let's go with Southern one now. We'll go Southern. I don't realize we're going concentrated as well, but, you know, here we are. Heirs to the Pharaohs. Spreading the truth of our cosmic origins. Well, the Sun-Ra's revelation uh, into the mass is that he is truly an alien sent from Saturn who will use his cosmic art and sun genius to liberate the true African peoples. Our populace has been divided. On one hand, we have followers of Sun-Ra and those devoted to his cult, which has come to encompass a large and growing majority of the nation. And on the other, those skeptics and naysayers that still doubt the splendors of Ra. Seeking unity, harmony, and peace above all else, the Sun-Ra has made his personal mission to convince these doubters of his ultimate truth. Through new shows by the orchestra and cultural programs, new ways of celestial propaganda, and even by visiting his loudest detractors personally to sway them himself, Sun Ra is determined to convince every soul in the black belt that he truly is a, the Saturnine shepherd he claims to be, and that under his guidance this new field of reeds shall become paradise. From Saturn we found Africa, and from Africa we now find Aru. His cavalry division is just doing quite well. Not gonna lie. I do enjoy. And after futurist education, oh, yes please. It is paramount that each and every successive generation learn the truths that Sun Ra professes his day. For we never know when he might leave us to return to Saturn as such. After futurism, Sun Ra's entire philosophy should come to form the bedrock and framework of our entire educational system. From grade school to university, education and academia across the nation shall be persuaded and influenced to accept Sun Ra's truth, spreading them to the masses for the generations to come. And finally get a fourth uh, research slot as well. Which will be great and grandiose. Benjamin O. Davis Jr., keep doing the best you can. My god, Kaiser Redux runs so fast. I never knew it could run this fast before. Oh, my goodness. But we're going to need more rubber. Some R of our own rubber and fuel. But mostly just rubber. Um, in the meantime, are we still training? Do we have any? Ooh. Well, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good. We could do that if we really, really wanted to, but we could get more technical schools and companies to work with us. I like that idea as well. This is a really good place for us to just, like, hang out. Alright, so I think we're doing Fleet and Being. I think we'll just start with going this way. Um, yeah, you might as well, just because... Yeah, subs are cheap-ish. We could start working on them. Get some artillery first. Hey man, if you can help him out, that's what I care about. And train, of course, too. The feds are doing extremely well. Poor, poor Huey Long. Yeah, after futurist education. Both the soldiers, of course, submarine contacts, precision bombing. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Do you guys actually win there, maybe? Well, that was helping beat him up, maybe. Just maybe. Of course, we need way more manpower, too. And we're already on extensive, which is not good. Of course, we get a lot more local non-core manpower as well, but still. Nice. We could beat these guys up, go there, and cut them off, but they still have a port, which is not good. If we could get up here, though, up here, and circle and destroy those divisions, that'd be great. Uh, since they're moving, don't leave. Wait until we have enough divisions on the line, maybe. And here he's offensive, no. Feeling very exposed like this right now. Open arms to the Black Diaspora. All across the world there exist scattered populations of African sons and daughters whose parents and grandparents were stolen long ago by greedy opportunists and scavengers. They ripped their people from their homeland and spread them across the world to work in their fields and die in their wars. All for the benefit while their people only suffered. However, this reality can finally be avenged in our shared, our shared future change. Our new realm is in a stable enough position now that we could open our borders to those lost kin. Reunite the diaspora while spreading our Afrofuturist ideas and cosmic philosophy with fellow Africans across the world. All shall have a home here and together we shall reach our new destiny. Not bad. Keep getting more XP if you can. Now if you were to attack here, could you actually win? Yes, you might be able to. And we can get, get that group at least in circle, that'd be good as well. We're propaganda looking pretty good. Yeah, this runs so much faster than they did before. Holy crap. It's not even funny. Do we have any planes here at all? We can send 20. 
we were kings and we will be again. <laughs> Though our new Pan-African identity draws from many sources, the most important of all is ancient Egypt, our ancestors. Along the Nile, we're among the first civilizations on Earth, building the pyramids and the Sphinx while nurturing a culture that has survived for millennia. This is our legacy. We are the heirs to the kings and pharaohs of the old kingdom, and we shall be those kings again. To fully embrace this new identity, our capital of Charleston has undergone a transformation unlike any other. Gone is the colonial hive of Charles, and the new th for new Thebes now stands brilliantly in its place. With new Egyptian and Afro futurist architecture and art coming to dominate the refurbished city, we'll build a <clears throat> capital fitting of our cosmic pharaoh and our celestial Egyptian descended people. The glories of the old kingdom shall be made anew, all thanks to the guidance and genius of Sun Le Sun Ra. We shall build a new cosmic pharaoh dome to rival the splendors of our ancestors. Yes. We will reach oh and there goes American Union State. Goodbye, American Union State. Demand for reunification. Ah, here we go. We've just received a demand from the federal forces uh, to lay down arms and join uh, the forces of the Lord of General MacArthur. The demand states that if we do not fall in line behind general, the general within the next few days, they will deem us traitors and launch an all-out attack against our territories. MacArthur's message has not been well received by almost every member of our cabinet. Most view this as a message as a threat to our revolt and caution that loyalty to MacArthur may return us to conditions equal to those that we endured under Murray and possibly even Simmons. However, a select number of pragmatists are arguing that accepting this offer will save thousands of lives and that showing our loyalty to the federal government will give us more clout in future decision making. Oh, heck no. Why would we do that? Give us some time first. We gotta make sure at least one division per every tile. We've got a while. We've been saving a PP for this too, anyway, so. We shall see. In just a little bit. Which opens up another front for them. And they have to fight the Pacific front, anyway, so. That'll really stretch them out, which is good. Now we have 150 PP. Pretty decent. Well, I'm out anyways for now. Radio detection, good. 1939, better guns, just please. You might be able to win still here. And... Boom. Oh, nice. Nope. But a fourth rooster slot? Finally, thank goodness. Go there, and then what? The only god is raw. Serving all aspects of faith from the state, claiming that religion only seeks to force people to live according to how others want to live and how how now, how each individual themselves wants to express themselves, Sun Ra has served, severed any of our religious ties to the state and to his movement. Once enjoying nominal support from various denominations and groups, particularly the Nation of Islam, Sun Ra has deemed it necessary to sever it, for we have no need for God past the stars. Though people shall be free to pr still practice their own religions, now shall come to affect the state. And the cult of Sun Ra has only grown to eclipse any faith or philosophy left in the nation. The only God left is Ra. And luckily, he's a benevolent one. He is a herald of Afrofuturism, or our Saturn-born guide, the shepherd who revitalized and enlightened our people, and now is the most mortal and celestial god of the Afro-Saturnine people. All praise Sun Ra. And now we're back at war with the big ol' ding-dongs over here. Do I actually do well against these guys? All sets ultimatum. Some places, yeah, we actually do relatively well. Some places, not so much. We can actually do well there, maybe? World at war again, pretty normal. You might do well down there, too. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Mexican states would be good. Second Melbourne Uprising. We'll stop doing that. And where we're losing, we're not going to attack anymore. Because they are throwing tank divisions in here. Um, all right, all right, that's fine. I wonder if we get cores in any of these states, like a normal, like, uh, unifier. That's why I figured we kind of need some uh, anti-tank as well. Vampire's precious right now. Should be able to win down here though. Oh, the PSA does really- oh crap. You know what, how about we just all hold? I might have to use cons commands here. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. We'll see.
But yeah, this is not going to be good for us. Um, just because we can't do anything about this. So yeah, contrabands might be the way we have to go. Because there's no way we can hold against the feds. I mean, this is retarded. That's so bad. Come on. Yeah, sorry, but... I'm going to have to balance this out a little bit more. Because if they're able to beat us up and the PSA in the mountains, yeah, I don't know about that, son. I don't know about that. Real dumb, if you ask me. We have no map to do anything, too. So... Very dumb. Don't lose the capital. Please, for the love of God, do not lose the capital. Aye, aye, aye. Space is the place to move it. Speaking to spread its cosmic message to the masses both within and without outside the borders of the Black Belt, a Sunrise Fund and created a new movie to showcase its cosmic philosophy to the world. Called Space is the Place, after its infamous motto, the 85-minute space fiction or science fiction film showcases Sun Ra being stranded on an alien planet with an orchestra after the recent tour. After getting their bearings, Sun Ra and his crew all dress in Afro-futuristic and Egyptian-themed garb and decide to settle the Negro population on the planet, with Sun Ra using the power of his music to physically transport the black race to the planet. All the while, he is attempting to build this new colony he must travel back and forth through time in order to win a car duel against the demonic pimp overlord for the fate of the black race. The film is certainly strange and avant-garde, but despite its oddities, it struck a chord with many becoming the biggest blockbuster of the year. With theaters, both domestic and international, selling out, showing after showing of space is a place. Sun Ra has been overjoyed for his vision and his truth is finally reaching the masses of the world, whether they know it to be true or not. Space is indeed the place, now all shall know it. Oh my goodness, this is dumb. We literally have like no artillery left, but whatever. Thanks, Japan. Thanks. Yeah, I'm going to probably delete half of the, their army here because this is not fair. There's literally nothing we can do. Uh, we do want to get this one done first and do the only sun. Oh, God, raw. But this is. Yeah, it's not very fair. I don't like this. I really don't like this. You know, I played fair with uh, the car, but this is just too much. There's literally nothing we can do about this. All right, and we'll see what happens next. There is but one God, religion, ideology, and other rule sets for life merely force people to live a certain way, locked into the preset lifestyles, un and unavailable, or unable to truly express themselves in the fullest and most genuine way possible. There's a slavery in the most widespread and enduring form of ignorant and misinformed sacrifice for possible fulfillment and happiness by willingly throwing away their unique lives because they believe it is the truth, or perhaps maybe their only hope. Our people must reach to must. Each live to fulfill their true selves, not an imposed, forced, or deluded world view. We must turn our back on gods and masters that once trapped our fates and altered our destiny so that we can charge forth into the Afro-Future untethered. Only our cosmic pharaoh or Afro-Futures herald. Our pan-African savior grew and funk can truly save us now, so let us rejoice under the one and only guide for the true beings of humanity, Sun Ra. And his name is Ra. And Herman Paul Blount, Herman Paul Blount, Herman Paul Blount, Herman Paul Blount, herald of the future. Cosmic Pharaoh, Saturnine Shepherd, you lose a lot of war sport to get more daily political power and even more political power, and a Saturn and beyond. Our new cosmic realm of Aru is a physical field of reeds, the Egyptian paradisical, paradisical afterlife. Our people rejoice and flourish, our artists bloom, a blossom and explode with new creativity, and our people are in a new golden age unlike ever seen before. However, something far more exciting has Sun Ra riled up. Something that he has demanded the state act on immediately as our final hurdle of salvation. With the space program first established ages ago, finally showing promise after all this time, Sun Ra's has declared that it is finally time to begin the Afro Saturnine pilgrimage. Our first rocket shall be built. A crew of Af Afronauts, screened and trained in a flight plan, shall be calculated and drilled to perfection. With Sun Ra's our guide, we will get our paradise out there among the stars no matter how long it takes. Space is a place, and we shall get there no matter what the obstacle or hurdle. We shall blast the Saturn and beyond in search of the Afro future. Jesus Christ. And, yeah, I did use the consequence. I'd use a lot of consequence, because right now the feds are just way too strong for us to do anything. But we're going to assume the leadership of a pan-Africa. Africa must be united under its rightful rulers and people who will guide them towards a better future while freeing them from the white imperialism. Pretty much. And I'm still trying to mobilize more. But, yeah, uh, it's, not, it's, it's not great. And at this point, I don't care about cheating, basically. There's no point to not cheat at this point, so. You, you literally might as well, because this is not very good. And it's not the devs' fault, it's just the way uh, this campaign is 
kind of happened. So, yeah, it is what it is. The uh, Chicago, because we don't get unlike the like the war, American warlords, which, which I'm just going to call them. We don't get any ways to core anything here. So, which I think is kind of a missed opportunity. There's, as far as I can remember, black diaspora like all across these parts of the United States, like especially Texas. I'm sure there's at least some in California too. Definitely up near Chicago by 1939, maybe because of the what is it? What do we call it? I forget what it's called. Black. Oh, I forget what it's called. I don't know the black population movements and stuff like that. So, just take as much territory as you can for now. We're going to be incurring a lot of losses, but what else is new? Um, do you have the Air Force? Better food support, why not? You just might as well. How much political party get away? 1.49 is pretty good. That's pretty darn decent, not gonna lie. Yeah, actually been there, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Naval stuff, we don't even have a navy yet, so. Which does suck. We need to get some, uh. The subs. Subs. Subby boys. Subbies and chubbies. Help destroy that division, and then keep going north. St. Louis is ours. Um, at this point, just kind of hang out. Don't worry about attacking. You can hold where you're at and just kind of hold, 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 except for Richmond. Um, reporting anything you know. Okay. Well, we're getting help and stuff like that, but still. My gosh, we're so out of manpower. Not good. Yeah, we had to eliminate a lot of the divisions because there's nothing we can do about it. I don't want to delete them, but you know, I mean, if I wish we could like core more places, but we can't, which does really, really suck. God dang, I hate this front line. Stupid thing. All right, so after that, oh, a fifth research slot, which is nice. Extraction maybe, or better already. Yeah. Um, what are we going to do? Appeal to Japan. An alliance with the Japanese would be practical as we exist or share a common interest in keeping American expansions from gaining their strength from conquering us. Another aid would be very helpful. Yes, it would be. Because God knows we can't really make that many divisions anymore. You know, we just made two more. It's not bad. Fall of Rome. Way more balance for us, even though they're still kicking our butts. The PSA, the, the, the Americans, the Feds, they just want to see us completely destroyed. They're not doing anything against these guys, apparently. But they're just trying to focus all on us, which I think is crap. That's a bunch of crap to us. Come on, man. They actually might be able to win there, maybe. Keep weeding out that their clam. Good to see that at least. Good ran our stock balls really bad. I mean, other than using consequence, I don't, really don't think there's anything else we can really do about this. Saturday night pilgrimage begins. At a mass broadcast and highly publicized event, the nation prepares for the first manned rocket test in its sp own space hits program's history. In secret, we've tested rockets for years, and over time, we've clawed our way through the hard science to craft a safe working rocket capable of holding a small crew and at least getting them into orbit. The rocket in question has been named the Ma Majet after the boat of millions of years, which was a solar bark or barque. Ra is said to have traveled upon ancient e Egyptian myth mythology and is based upon design sourced from the Americans and Germans that were perfected here in our cosmic realm. Along Florida's eastern coastline at the Cape of Ra, the launch site <coughs> prepared to send Henry, Robert Henry Lawrence Sr. and Carl C. McNair, the first two trained astronauts, into space to be the first of our Pan-African peoples to grace the vacuum of the cosmos and Sun Ra's arrival from Saturn. Though many fear that these brave men may not return, we wish for the best of luck as the countdown begins. May Sun Ra guide their souls to the Afro future and safely back as they blast off in history. We wish these brave astronauts a safe trip as they blast or blaze into the Afro future. So it's awesome seeing here. Oh, we definitely need some recon for these guys then. They're only focusing on us. This is so stupid. Why does the AI focus only on us? Oh, successful trip around the planet though. 
Beating the odds and surprising the world, the maiden voyage of the Med Jet has been a success. Astronauts he Robert Henry S Lawrence Sr. and Carl C. McNair return to Earth in their landing capsule safely and unharmed after achieving a state orbit or stable orbit around the planet, and also to receive our hero's welcome. The first humans in history to successfully return to space since our celestial inception, McNair and Lawrence are paragons of humanity of the highest order and shall be rewarded as such. Given the titles of intergalactic Afro-pioneers, they become some of the most famous humans in the nation and in the wider world overnight, and now she'll help Cosmic Pharaoh's son Ra and the Celestial Vizier McAfee guide the nation towards the next step of our Saturnine pilgrimage. Though shall be ages before we get to our true homeland, this first, this first step has given us the courage and the reassurance to get there. A miracle! Holy crap! With the cosmos ensured by the sun Ra, this is a first step towards Saturn. A thousand political power! Why can't we have more attack and defense and stuff like that? Of all things, we get a thousand... Oh, political power. Black Cross. As much as I want the Black Cross, we're going to get some Negro Factories corporations here. Tuskegee. Tuskegee's probably more fitting for us anyways. Black Star Shipyards. Um, we're going to go with sub stuff. Detection and attack. Nice. Indirect Approach Doctrine. Hugh Mulzak. Yeah. Could go to Total Mobilization, but I think we'll be okay for now. This is looking so bad. <laughs> They're literally only focusing on us. Bro, come on. Don't lose it, you ding-dongs. And if you lose that, you lose both these divisions too, so you might as well retreat for now. Oh, you ding-dongs. Oh, this is so stupid. A celestial discovery. Thanks to the efforts of a burgeoning space program generously funded, perhaps even overfunded by Sun Ra, we made a tantalizing discovery. The celestial vizier, Walter Manuel McAfee, our chief astronomer and science officer, has been using the latest telescope and astral observational technology to scan the skies, learn more about our cosmic origins, and our celestial destiny. In his latest report, celestial vizier McAfee has declared that he has discovered the 10th known moon of Saturn, our paradisical homeland among out on the stars. Uh, this discovery has been marked as a good omen by the Sun Ra Ra, and the cults around him, and with the government even going so far as to declare this new day a national, new national holiday, while the moon has been named, named Ra after our national father and celestial guide himself. This news has, been, has the entire nation abuzz, with space themed parties and intergalactic inspired celebrations breaking out across the Black Belt, and ensure to raise our spirits as we prepare for our eventual pilgrimage. It must be an omen. And then dominate the Caribbeans, liberate the Caribbeans, and anti imperialist absorbing Haiti. I kind of want to do that. Get claims on all these guys? Uh, maybe we should unite with the Liberians. It's finally time to take back Liberia. Sadly, they'll not come to us peacefully, so the force is their only option to liberate them from a corrupt government and start a quest to unite Africa. I totally didn't try to use more cons commands to make sure that we can actually win this goddamn war, but the rise of jazz, a new form of music, has taken the country. And Louis Armstrong and other musicians in the jazz movement are being influential celebrities that went from playing in establishments that offered liquor, dancing, and other services to playing on a national stage in record studios. The creation of jazz is only increasing due to the outrage of religious groups who call the music sinful. Interesting. Denounce it, because I want more stuff there. Also, we did get these territories for free. Like, I didn't even ask them. We got them for free from the assuming Pan-African leadership stuff, so. Um, you know, the, the librarians, yeah. Yeah, we gotta peacefully do that, which is fun with us, but yeah. Um, I don't like this war. We did take DC already, but still. On our way to Cleveland. And now they cut off. Yeah, I just, I'm, I don't like this war. I, I mean, good luck. I mean, it was enough of a struggle with the car. But with the Federals, the, fe the Feds, we, there's no way we could do that at all. There's literally no way we could do that fairly. So, I decided to take matters in our own hands. Also, we are trying to get subs down too. So, that's good. Of course, they would have three motorized divisions. AI does cheat. I mean, little, they literally do cheat too. So, I'm not too upset that we have to cheat ourselves. So, if the AI cheats, then why can't we? You know? Questions ask. Just asking for a friend, probably, though. Probably. There you go. Oh, they're going to cut us off, aren't they? Did they, did they delete some divisions? I can't tell. <sighs> go through here. Cut them off if you can. Probably can't, in all honesty. Let's get more manpower back, though. That's a lonely, so. 
Come on. Build Japan. You have the Liberians. Good. Delete their divisions as best you possibly can. Kill their divisions off. Come on. You're not allowed to lose. Why can't we force defense or force attack? This is so stupid. Go to Harrisburg. Beta Liberia. Well, they're going to be cores of ours eventually, so unfortunately we'll take the hit now. <clears throat> Military occupation is the only way we can really go. Our foothold. We finally have a photo in Africa. Long enough, we can finally buckle down and build up Liberia to serve as a base of operations of a new power to Pan Africa. Good. Good. Okay, so you're dead. It's fine. Why would you attack their meat? Why? Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! We have to keep everyone attacking, but you attacking here is literally a waste of lives. Uh, ignoramuses, man. Oh my god, stop it with this stupid frontline system crap. Would one of you just get in here? Oh my god, just get in there. Jesus. Oh my. <sighs> Someone take Detroit. It's open. The AI makes extremely questionable decisions. Just don't lose Washington, man. No, go in there, you ding dongs. Come on. Well, we lost Washington. Are you kidding me? This is so stupid. Oh my. Oh, we stop. Oh, no, no. The AI is literally doing ex just extremely stupid stuff to screw us over. Literally, because I disabled. I deleted all the frontline system over there. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So stupid. So, so, so incredibly stupid. Alright, well. Okay, then. Get the guys on the front line first. It's fine. Get some free cores. I don't have a massive attack against these guys. Three, two, one. Let's get focused on first, and then we'll attack. Six days left. It's not bad. Got a little more rubber. We definitely need some uh, tungsten. We can trade away two for now. I'm making a lot of air bases. Actually, doing this over here might be kind of beneficial. And build there too. That'd be good. Go in. Good. Our foothold is good as well. In all honesty, these guys should pretty should be able to do this pretty darn easily. No more manpower is nice. Okay, free cores is always good. Uh, more anti tank is good. Way more artillery will be very decent as well. Well, the north we're doing well though. Our foothold and reclaim the homeland. Yeah, we need to reclaim the heartlands of Africa for its rich resources, which will empower its true leaders and united populace and crush all imperialists. We need to throw out the old European uh, imperialists, a long overdue process, and bring them into being properly under, into being a proper power under us. Which is good as well, but we'll probably reclaim the homelands just so we get some cores first. And if I have the city, it might be a little difficult though. Forty, we're getting this ready. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use consequence for this again. I mean, this is this is infuriating. I mean, come on. In what world could we actually do anything here like this, and without getting any more cores across, you know, 
North America. All right, everyone, so totally didn't use const commands, totally didn't use const commands at all to do all this stuff, and, uh, yeah. Well, we're looking okay, we got a lot of resistance and whatnot, but what else is new? We've already gone ahead and dominated the Caribbean. It's been under the white rule for too long. These lands shall be ruled by the better fit to run, and who will liberate those who are deserving of it. Eventually, we'll observe Hawaii as well. Or, not Hawaii, but Haiti. Blacks within America share a common ancestry with us, and therefore we should use our administrative and propaganda skills and incorporate them into a republic. Redeem Africa. While Pan-Africa is under our military control, we need to solidify our hold politically and culturally. Many liberal and foolish Africans and leftover imperialists, as well as unwelcome foreigners, still resist us and, we sh and will need to be destroyed. Africa will be won. Which is going to take us forever to do, because, well, I don't know if we can actually take out all of Africa. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, subcontracts. Under the sea, while lurking the subs, waiting for our foes to fall into our trap. Still, however, before we can do that, we need to buy subs. Let's pursue a new contract with different shipbuilding companies, and one day we'll have our own submarine fleet. I wish we could just, like, buy people. Oh, hold on, maybe not buy people, but, uh, buy, like, mercenaries or something? Rent mercenaries? Just because, uh, well, we're gonna go to war with these guys. He's fine, fine, folks. Oh, actually, let's do that already. Um, because we do have a claim on Southern Illinois, which I don't understand why we do. And we can't core anything here, but, you know, whatever. And these guys are at war with Mexico, which is actually pretty nice for us. Uh, they're doing really well against Mexico, because they're not that strong, but, you know what? Against Upton Sinclair, we should do okay, but we'll probably end this episode by going to war. Um, uh, and doing okay, not great. Just okay, not great. Um, yeah. At this point in the campaign, I think using Consequence is a fair game, just because there's really not much we can do. Because I'm not going to say it's unbalanced, but just not... It's not meant to be balanced, realistically. But, but, but Buffalo Soldiers. The Buffalo Soldiers name for Union troops who served in the Union Army. We should use similar means of appealing to black men and create a professional corps around the concept of modern Buffalo Soldiers, expand our numbers to drift trained soldiers. Mm -hmm. How the heck are we losing here? These guys are not that strong, are they? Eh, they're somewhat strong. Not super strong, I'd say, but, you know, whatever. Mexico. Oh, I'm gonna say no to now. But yeah, it looks like we're about to use Consequence for this one, because, honestly, this group is just not strong enough. It's really not strong enough. But, uh, the clan wiped out. The Major Dragons and their followers are either fleeing or arrested, and the clan, alongside the NDWL cells, have gotten utterly underground, practically falling apart in the process. While some of their members are still around, they can no longer cause major damage to supply or civilian supporters. Finally. Which is a great, great thing. And well, we do the best we can, but, you know, when the... <clears throat> I don't understand as well. Like, usually when the Civil War is over, their divisions get all deleted. Like, a lot of this does not make any sense. They have political aftermath. Uh, they have economic aftermath. Moral radicalism. Social engineering. National ownership. The American Commonwealth. National services. Negro Bureau, which... I don't know. That should be weakened since we're here and so alive. Government pensions. Head of intelligence. Worker protectionism. Do its fortification, so... Well, unfortunately, we'll probably have to use quite a few cons commands to make sure we do well here. And, uh, yeah. Because this is not very good for us, no, is it? No, no, it's not. It's not very fair. But, I think we're going to end it there, and I'm going to start just using cons commands like crazy. Just because this is a bunch of crap. But, we'll try to figure out... We'll try to do this peacefully, and... Well, actually, no. We're probably using cons commands as well over here. Because this, this... it's How are we supposed to get over here? Like, it makes no sense. We might be able to take on the Entente, but only after we take out these guys. But, you know what? We'll see. But if you enjoyed the video, regardless, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when the world will hopefully fall more apart. Thanks for watching, have a great, great Afro-future rest of your day.